My name is Kenneth Swanson, Application Engineer for Assemble Systems, and today I am giving a brief overview of the Navisworks Publisher and tips and tricks for using it. With the release of the Navisworks Publisher, Assemble's model support extends to a new range of products, including Revit, AutoCAD, SmartPlan 3D, PDMS, PDS, MicroStation, and IFCs from both ARCHICAD and Tecla. This new publisher will need to be downloaded from assemblesystems.com slash download or from the Get Add-In button on an Assemble site. When accessing the project page, that can be found in the top right. And the Navisworks publisher is separate from our Revit and AutoCAD plugin. Both can be downloaded from that link. A mandatory upgrade for your Revit and AutoCAD publishers will need to be done if it has not been done so already. When open, the Assemble Navisworks publisher will appear as a button on the ribbon that has a publish command. When the publish is run, you'll go through the normal assemble publish process, selecting a site, selecting a project, or creating one. And when you are asked about what models you're going to be publishing from the Navisworks file, you'll be able to select multiple options there. So in this project now, we can merge similar file formats. So from the Navis file, DWGs, RVTs can all be merged and federated in Assemble before the publish. And we also decide to skip detail elements by default, and this can be disabled if those are needed within the model. From the Navis file itself, Assemble can control a certain number of publishing options. So within the selection tree, whatever is currently visible within your 3D viewer in Navisworks will come through to Assemble. For example, if I were to go ahead and take the architectural model, or excuse me, structural model here, and hide everything that's unselected, when I go through that same publish process, the only option we're gonna see in that federation screen will be the currently open model. So this can be used to create section boxes, layers, filters, or turn on and off specific objects within the selection tree and anything not visible will be ignored. After this, simply add your version name and you can publish that model. In Assemble, the Navisworks model is gonna be functioning much the same way. Within the model interface, we'll be able to see those separated uh, submodels with their corresponding publish date and publish source within that interface. And within the project itself, those can be turned on and off as needed same as before, and the Assemble viewer will be federating both those file types from, in this case, AutoCAD and Revit. Now that Assemble can uh, consume a Navis model, many common workflows, including QTO, tracking work in place, and work packaging can be expanded into these new file types. So in, like before, the Assemble property set will exist across all the published objects. So no matter what the authoring source was, these will be standardized and available within that project. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to know more about Assemble or the Navisworks Publisher, please reach out to your Assemble point of contact and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you very much. This was Kenneth Swanson.